Good evening, everybody. This is Ben back again with you all, and now it's time for a celebrity movie collection video for you guys, in which I know I haven't made one of these since um, a month and a half now, since September, but so it's been a while. But I figured, um, but I figured I might as well get back and sit. Um, but I had, I had, a, I had a, I had one of these videos, um, well, on a different person planned, uh, um, planned uh, not long ago. So I figured might as well, you know, do this again. So, so anyways, for this video, I'm gonna now um, show you guys my Natalie Portman films, which I only have seven of her movies. So it's it's um, so it's it's not a lot, but it's still you know it's good for what it is. So so anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. This is the the first film in the prequel trilogy. I have this on DVD, but I'm showing the videotape version of it. So we got the tape label, and then the print date is December 30th, 1999, printed, 1999, printed just uh, a day before New Year's Eve, and printed before two days before 2000 began, before the new millennium began, so... Anyways, moving on, we have Zoolander with Ben Stiller, who also directed this film. Uh, I think he produced and wrote it, but exuberant and insidiously funny by Kenneth Serene of Los Angeles Times. This film, she has a cameo appearance. She plays herself, so that's why I'm showing this. Unspeakably funny by Elvis Mitchell of New York Times. And for features, it just has an original skit from the VH1 Vogue Awards. For 1996 and 15 outrageously funny promotional spots featuring Derek Zoolander, which is Ben Stiller's character, but but still though, we got the label and no print date. So that's for the that's all for the tapes, so now we're gonna move on to the DVDs. Next up we have Garden State, which is from 2000. This and the next one are both from 2004. Marvelous, fun, and hilarious and heartfelt by Peter Charles and Rolling Stone. This is also Zach Braff, who also wrote and directed this movie. Amazing, one of the best films of the year by Bill Zwecker of CBS TV Chicago. And CBS TV Chicago um, says Zach Braff delivers an Oscar-worthy performance. And Garden State is hilarious by Rolling Stone. And Natalie Portman has never been better by Bill Zwecker of CBS TV Chicago. I think that's the same reviewer that did all this, except for that one there by Rolling Stone. Features, it has audio commentaries by writer-director Zach Braff, Natalie Portman, and filmmakers, outtakes and bloopers, 16 deleted scenes, and the making of featurette. Got the disc right here, and then we got the, the inserts, so, or inserts. Next up, we have Closer, which is also from 04, which is also with Julia Roberts, Jude Law, and Clive Owen. Winner of two Golden Globes for Best Supporting Actress in the Drama category for Natalie Portman, as well as Clive Owen for Best Supporting Actor, and then two Academy Award nominations for the same two actors. Two Thumbs Way Up by Ethan Roper, and Closer Vibrates of Eroticism, Bruising, Laughs, and Dynamic Performance by Pure Charles of Rolling Stone, and at last, A Love Story for Adults by Time, and for Features, um, it has the... Um, well, this is one of the features on it, but it includes music video for Damien Rice's The Blower's Daughter. So, yep. Of course, um, I think, um, I don't think I need to show this in any more of when I do these kinds of videos. I don't think I need to show this anymore because, because all the other stars in the film, Julie Roberts, Jude Law, and Clive Owen, I did movie collection videos of their, them already, and... Roberts, Law, Portman, and Owen are the only stars in this film. So there's not really need to show this again anytime soon. So, so yeah. Anyways, moving on. Oops. We have Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, which is from 2005. A lot of features here, but I'm not going to read them because there's way too many to name. So, so here is... Disc 1, and then Disc 2. Next up we have V for Vendetta, which is from 2006. This is also Hugo Weaving. Terrific. Vendetta is up there with the Wachowski Brothers' first Matrix film by Richard Corliss of Time. And for features, it has Freedom Forever making V for Vendetta. And then the 
languages and subtitles. So, yep, you got the disc right here. We got one more left, which the last one we have is The Other Bowling Girl from 2009 which is also with Scarlett Johansson and Eric Bana. A Passionate Tale of Intrigue, Ambition, and Betrayal by Rex Reed of New York Observer. A Wonderful, Dramatic, and Powerful Saga of the Dangers of Absolute Power. The cast is impeccable by Jeffrey Lance of WNBC's Real Talk. And for features, it just has to lead extended scenes and translating his history to the screen to be a lady, members of the court biographies, and more. So... Here's the disc, and then we have the um, this insert for uh, uh, like to win a trip to where this uh, to England, and then some other stuff to it. Okay, so that's it for my Natalie Portman movie collection video, and I'll see you again some other time soon. Um, so there you have it.